Where are you taking your family? My young children, what's your dream? What's your vision? Where do you want to be 10 years from today? Where do you want to be 20 years from today? If you want to make a success of your life, listen to your pastor. Do not pay attention to critics. Close your ears. Everybody that says you can't, don't like you. You can't grow, you can't excel, you can't attain, you can't achieve. You can't be a top performer. You can't be a top athlete. You can't be a top banker. You can't be a top businessman. You can't be a top musician. You can't be a top this. You can't. People that does that to you don't like you. They will make it their life's effort to try and break everything down that you're trying to build up. So my advice and God's word to you today is don't pay attention to them. I want you to tell three people here, you're blessed, you're gifted. Don't pay attention to your critics. Tell three people. Don't pay attention. I wish I had time for all these things. Put a smile on your face. Some of you sitting here in front, you make my work so heavy. So heavy. When I look at you, you look so upset. So Father, yes, your children. You believe in us more than what we believe in ourselves. You've got so much faith in us. You have done everything. Lord, everything. In order to ensure that when we get here, we will be successful. And so many times we pay attention to people's voice instead of to God's voice. Please help us from today to close our ears to the opinions of opinionated, critical, cynical, judgmental people and that we would only listen to our God if God says we can, then we can. If God says we will, we will. If God says we bless, we bless. If God says we gift it, we gift it. Help us to align ourselves with your voice. Not the voice of the devil. Of the voice of our critics. But the voice of him that created us and that knows us better than what we know ourselves. I've got one prayer for this church. Help us that we will run the race, finish the course, keep the faith. Be transformed into the image and the likeness of your dear son unto a 
perfect man. Take us from glory to glory. Every negative word that has been said over these, thy children. God, as we grow up in life, we meet people sometimes that say painful things. Terrible things. Things that stays with us for years as, an, as we grow up, even into our adulthood. I ask that those voices will be stilled by the voice of God. Take away our pain, our low self-esteem. Take away, oh God, the feelings of inferiority, the feelings of anxiety. Help us to know that we are important people. Valuable, esteemed and favored of God. Help us to embrace the vision and the plan of God for our lives. And as we pursue the vision and the purpose and make a success of our lives in the earth, I pray that you would help us to be faithful to him that called us. May from today, this church never ever again hearken unto the voice of their critics. This I pray and ask in Jesus' name. And the family says, Amen. Give the Lord a hand of praise. I've dealt with vision. I've dealt with strategic planning and alignment the ethic and the discipline of hard work how to deal with your critics next week I'm taking you higher and I'm going to deal from next week with the dynamics of fate and show you how in life you don't need to be jealous or insecure about any person you can become all that you were designed to be if you operate by faith. I'm pulling you to the next level next week.